Is there anything about this particular film that you, what do you hope that Columbia students, maybe currently in the School of the Arts watching, might take away from this process or from this story or um, from your experiences making it? Um, I think, like, I'm very inspired by BJ's work and the way he kind of dives into these different cultures. Like, um, he's had spent a lot of time in Cuba, and he, you know, he's not Cuban. He's not Spanish speaking. He's not. He also made a film in Congo, and he has no really, you know, innate connection to that besides having spent some time there. So I think I really admire his daring, daring do <laughs> to just find something that he is excited about and, and make a movie about it and, and not feel like, oh, but is that my culture or is that my voice or am I that gender? You know, like you can really make a story about anything that you're inspired by. Explode, the, explode all, uh, you know, limits of your imagination. Just go yeah. for it, right? Yeah. And what do you have coming up next that you're looking at or inspired by right now, maybe? Um... I have some scripts in my drawer that you know I may be pulling out again. I also, the last couple of years, started a fashion line that's kind of completely not related to film. I make like reflective um, clothing and accessories geared originally towards um, like cyclists, but it's sort of like regular clothes that have safety functionality in them. Amazing! What's it called? So it's called Vespertine. Amazing! And when does it launch? Um, it's going. I, I launched it a couple of years ago, so that's like awesome. my, my other job um, and my baby. And, but I'm excited to, before working on this project and starting my business, I was working as a screenwriter and also doing some acting. Um, so it's fun to come back to the film world, and, and I'm excited to see like where, where I'm going to go from here. That's so exciting! And actually, I use a lot of the skills from Colombia in my fashion business, too. Can you maybe talk? I know I've kept you talking here for a long time, and I'll let you go party in a moment, but I'm so fascinated. Um, what kind of skills that did the filmmaking kind of play into? I, mean, I think in like starting a brand is sort of about storytelling, and just all the elements that go into it, coming up you know, with a photo shoot, and trying to think about sort of a story for that and, and, and videos and just in the general like communication that you have to produce right. to create your brand. I never thought about that before, um, that's amazing. Yeah, it all yeah. kind of ties in. I was surprised right. actually and it was fun to find creative expression in other ways that, you know, I, I, had, I felt I had been sort of trained toward, but, um, uh, <laughs> but to find like creative outlets for for the training I'd had that right. weren't necessarily directly filmed, but could really like right. take advantage of the Which is interesting because the film is all about teaching you to think unconventionally, so yeah. kind of just like the next level in a lot of ways, yeah, 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 yeah. gesturing into frames.